What is going on guys? Ashes of Creation just dropped its second to last cosmetic pack pre-order for the game. Being one of the last times that you will be able to buy into any of the testing phases of the game unless they decide to open the invites back up down the road. In the August pack, None Forgotten, we get this very badass looking dwarf theme set where you will notice in the first paragraph, for those of you who actually go through and read the article, that states, we'd also like to inform our glorious community that the unannounced September pre-order pack will be our final pre-order pack. This is huge news, but something we knew that was coming sooner or later. There's also a FAQ at the bottom of the article that gives a little bit more information on this, such as why are pre-order packs ending? Well, Intrepid states that we currently have hit the number of Alpha 2 testers that we were aiming for in order to ensure everyone has a glorious experience when it comes to performance of our servers and game client. We want to make certain that we can service our Alpha 2 testers to the best of our ability. After further internal and external testing, we may decide to expand the amount of Alpha 2 testers needed. At this time, we may provide more ways for folks to obtain Alpha 2 access, and we will provide further information regarding that via our communication channels. Then was asked, what will the final pre-order pack set look like? To which Intrepid state, you'll have to wait and see our announcement article in September, but I'd give you a hint that it's a more creepy looking set as we know that's been a big request from our glorious community. And hopefully it's Tolnar related because there has not been a single Tolnar set in the four or five years six years or however long Intrepid's been doing pre-order packs, so it is time to end the last set reveal with the Tolnar. I think that'd be a great idea. Not confirmed, but a creepy looking Tolnar set, I'd be all for it. The final pre-order pack will be available on September 13th, 2023 at 11 a.m. Pacific time, so if you want this dwarf set, you know, get that this month, or you can wait until the last one, but September set will be your last chance, so if you don't like it, but you want Alpha 2, well, it's all you got, so you'll just kind of have to go with it. Then, a big question asked, if you don't get a pre-order pack, does that mean you will not be able to join into Alpha 2, Beta 1, or Beta 2 in the future? Well, kinda. Intrepid states that we will have some giveaways you can participate in, so stay tuned for that. As we complete more internal and external testing, we may decide to expand the amount of Alpha 2, Beta 1, and Beta 2 testers needed. At that time, we may provide more ways for folks to obtain access, and we will provide further information regarding that via our communications channel. They also go on to state that they will have cosmetic items and merchandise available in the Ashes of Creation shop at a future date. So it sounds like when we see cosmetics coming back, we will probably be getting that Intrepid shop with all of that stuff Steven teases behind his desk. As I said earlier, this is something we knew was going to happen sooner or later. It has been talked about in the previous streams and something that we expected as we lead up to Alpha 2. And with this and the node showcase next month, things are starting to heat up for Alpha 2. And perhaps this is a sign that we could be playing Alpha 2 sooner than later. Now we just need to wait for that content creator program to start offering out invites and we will know Ashes of Creations Alpha 2 is just around the corner. It has been said that internal testing for A2 will kick off towards the end of this year and September is heading into the last four months months of this year, so we must be getting very close. Let me know your thoughts on the cosmetic pre-orders finally ending in the comments below, and be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and turn on the bell for notifications to be notified of the latest Ashes of Creation news. Also, if you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.